Right, this is our second mask tutorial. We've made a few changes. We're now using just one piece of elastic at the top and at the bottom compared to two pieces at the top and the bottom beforehand. So this economizes on the use of elastic and it's quicker to make. Also, we're now using a curved shape around the sides because it fits the round face better. Okay, first of all, you take your feature fabric right side up. You may want to mark the side that goes to the top of your face, so above the nose, so that you know that when you're making the channel later on for the wire. So um, you can, you probably don't need to pin the elastic in place, you just stitch it to the fabric and then you place the fabric on top that will be closest to the mouth and that should be a cotton fabric so that it absorbs the moisture from your breath. Thirdly, you add a layer of a thin poly cotton because it's said that that's better to keep the virus out. If you use a thicker fabric, two layers are fine. If they're thinner, three are best. Once you've done that, you stitch the mask into, into place all the way around the edges. You leave a gap so that you can bag it out. Make sure that the elastic doesn't get caught in the seam allowance. Once you've done that, you stitch a line to make a channel for the wire. The wire then goes in between any of the layers and you push that in so that it's in the center. Then you zigzag it into place. If you don't do that, the wire will roll around a bit when you wear it and it's just not as good a fit. But if you just don't wear your mask so often or not for such prolonged times, then that's fine. In fact, then you might not need a wire at all. Ours are made for people who wear them all day long. So next, you bag out your mask and then you fold the pleats. So make sure the longer wire is at the top and the shorter one at the bottom. So a quicker way to make your pleats is simply to grab the fabric like this and then hold it in place, press it with the iron, move along and press it nicely into place. If you can't figure this out, refer to our first video where we show how you can fold the pleats using pins and it's a very simple method and after a while you can probably change to this method. So once you've done this, you need to top stitch it to stay in place. So here, note the curved shape on the pleated sides so that it fits better around your face. And that's it. Oh, I'll show you the mask, uh, the mask, the template for the mask. So the dimensions of the fabric are 235 by 195 millimeters times three, unless it's quite thick fabric, then you can do with two. The elastic at the top measures 350 millimeters. That's for a size small to average sized head. If it's someone with a bigger head, I'll increase this to 450 millimeters. The advantage of this new method is that if it's too long, the person can just tie a little knot and make it fit to size. Right. The bottom, 300 millimeter, goes for any size, and the wire is 100 millimeters long. If you want to make the pleats the slower way, you may want to mark these dimensions, 40 millimeter, 60, 80, 100, 120 and 140 and that's where you place your pins and then you would fold it as described in our first video. Um, to find the video on YouTube put in my name Micah Baum Concise Mask Tutorial Mark 2 for this one and Mark 1 for the first one. Great, happy sewing. Thank you.